time my name is Joanne and welcome today I decided I am going to make uh, cream cheese or cottage cheese in Afrikaans we call it mascas uh, it's quite easy so let's jump straight in and get started okay firstly like I said uh, what we'll be needing is first of all um, it's I don't know what it's called in English, it's moss in Afrikaans, a mossy moss. It's like thick milk, almost like yogurt type of, but not but not yogurt, but like thick milk. And then a bowl, and we're going to need a sieve and a cloth. If this is a very easy recipe, oh, it's a very re easy recipe. Okay, so let's go. Firstly, I'm going to take the bowl, the sieve in. And then just take a clean cloth, fold it open. I think we're not going to fold it off, we're just going to fold it open like that. Make like a little well. Like I said, this is very, very easy. And then we're going to take our mass, just pour it in. As you can see, it's like a th thick, chunky, it's just milk, and a thick, chunky consistency. He's full. He's like almost. It's just under half. It's about there. That's what's left. I'm just gonna do this first. And basically, now all we do is, I think we close it up a bit. We don't want anything to fall inside. Just tie it a bit. As you can see, the water is already starting to drip out. Here you can see it. This is going to drip into the bowl. I'm going to leave it overnight. And then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll see how it did. A few moments later. Okay, so it's been about five hours since I started the cream cheese process. I thought I was going to open up. A bit and take a look to see how far it's gone let me just lift it here um, you can see there's quite a lot of the way that um, been dripping out just... ooh, 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 ooh. we almost lost it there people let's see I'm trying to maneuver this with one hand okay Okay, it's still it's a little dry it's still quite a bit runny but I think I'm gonna add some more some more of the moss Let's see. <clears throat> I'm just gonna top it up a bit um, I actually want to taste it but I think I'm gonna leave the taste test till the end when the whole process is done the next day right so it's next morning <clears throat> and we are going to finish this cheese up quickly let's see how it turned out okay so here we go guys we're gonna in this part we're gonna need um, containers to put the cottage cheese in and something to spice it with I'm just gonna um, add some salt because apparently um, you lose quite a lot of the tartness and you're gonna have to um, you're gonna have to put some flavor back into it. Right, let's see. Through the um, course of yesterday and yesterday evening, I added the rest of the moss, so the whole two liters is in here. show you guys this is how it looks okay so I put another bowl to mix it in okay, I'm gonna 
to put out into this bowl. Let's hope it doesn't. I don't screw up. Look how much whey came out. There we go guys, we have cream cheese, cottage cheese, whatever you want to call it. Let's taste it quickly. Here goes. Tastes like cream cheese guys. It is a, um, there's not too much flavor, so I am going to add some salt. Dish it out into these containers. <coughs> they are 500 ml milliliter containers. So let's see how full we get them. Now, on average, if you buy a, a tub of cottage cheese or cream cheese, it's about 250 ml, so like a half a half of these. So let's see how much we get out. And then you pay around 24 rand. If it's cottage cheese, if it's cream cheese, you might even pay more for it. Guys, so there you have it 500 moles of cottage cheese. I'm not sure how many grams it is. Let's weigh quickly. That is 600 grams. Yeah, 600 grams of cottage cheese. For the price of about, I think it's 200 grams. There we go. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, like it. Uh, click the like button and um, feel free to share it. If you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe for weekly updates. I try and post every Wednesday. And other than that, um, till next week. So please stay safe and I love you all. Bye.